having my coffee on a lovely Tuesday evening, and I had this like random urge, and I was like, why don't I just build a suburban house? So that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what we're gonna do today. But on this channel, we know that we don't just build houses out of nowhere. So we have a challenge to work with. And that challenge is, is we're gonna have to build that suburban house with only 100,000. Do I feel like I'll have enough to complete it? If you want me to be honest, absolutely not. Now, one thing I did do is I did try to do a floor plan off camera, which it kind of worked and it kind of didn't. So the front entrance is gonna be here. And we're gonna go four down just like that and then four to the side just like that and then lastly just like that and here is our front looks like a suburban house it does not but trust me it will this floor plan it really does not make any sense but let's be honest do suburban houses make sense they don't this is what the house looks like it's not the biggest but it's also not the smallest no it is actually pretty large when you really do think about it like i don't like to do houses this big they're just so much work like so annoying usually so the 100k it only really works for the exterior which i think is gonna be enough at least i'd like to think it's enough you see i did kind of prep before this video and i did make a lot of custom windows because that is a department we're really lacking in you gotta do some stuff yourself which is exactly what i did but anyways we're gonna use this little goofy staircase you see one thing about me is i'm not the biggest fan of american suburban houses especially the ones in texas because i really don't understand the floor plan sometimes like it's always so confusing to me why the front is so suburban and in the back like they just make it modern what but i still like building suburban houses even though like i'm not a fan of them but like i still like building them is there logic in any of this there is none exactly but it's just me you know so i'm thinking that this is going to be the master suite obviously and then on the other side we're just gonna have the rest of the bedrooms and then this entire middle part is just kind of empty it's like such a big waste of space the thing that i do not understand is that this goofy staircase this is exactly what i'm gonna call it for the rest of the video because it is a goofy staircase oh just wait till you see the back the back is so goofy and i mean not in a good way goofy it's so goofy that it's bad but this is what the upstairs looks like now this is where the fun begins right all of the windows all of the everything this is so complicated like why does it have to be so complicated you know what i mean but we're gonna have like a small little porch over here and i'm gonna use a flat roof just so we save just a bit more money basically we need to be at four hundred and nine thousand by the time we finish oh i hate blocks per prices so they're so expensive Expensive. And I have like a small confession to make. I mean, it's really not that big of a confession. It's kind of embarrassing to admit this. Now that we're being honest, I feel like I've been hibernating for the past week. The last time I've stepped out of my house was last Wednesday. And right now it's Tuesday. I did not have a single craving to go outside. Not yet, at least, which is so funny. Like it's, I feel like a psycho. I mean, honestly, maybe I am. But I mean, like, I really don't mind just being at home and doing nothing. Like, honestly, I kind of enjoy it. But yeah, now it's time to start putting in all the little windows and everything. So so we're gonna do probably one here and the other right above the door not bad it could be a lot worse one thing though if i am gonna run out of money i'm gonna give myself extra money guys i do not care today today i am in the mood to cheat so deal with it if you don't like it leave the door is that way i know you can't see me pointing but trust me it's there these are so annoying to do so i decided to start doing it off camera i don't know if any of you have tried to do this with basic shapes but it's always the one thing that i'm constantly just putting off like i'll start dreading doing these when i know it's time to do it this is probably going to be one of the more expensive parts of the house money is an issue in this game sometimes out of nowhere i just start speaking in a british accent it's really embarrassing at least that's what my british friend said because i do not sound british at all but I just, I love doing it sometimes. And it's not to make fun of the British people because I truly love everything about the UK. I know people like say crap about it all the time, but it's just, it's cute. I love the UK. I've been to London and London left such a good impression. And it's just, I just love it. Truly, honestly, so cute. Everything about it. Okay, I need to shut up. But like, if you're British, I will automatically like you. Most of you guys are either from the US or from the UK. So like, if you're British, I'm watching this. I love you. It's nothing but love. 
If I had to choose, I'd be a Brit. I always found it so confusing that they have college and then university, because that that just, well, like, what? First of all, to me, college was always a very American thing, and apparently it's not just American. It's just, it's weird. I realize how it makes no sense for me to talk about something like this when I'm literally building an American house. Like, we're not building a British house over here. What about America? What do we think of America? Do you guys want my honest opinion? I don't really have a fixed opinion. You know, it's like, well, I don't hate the US, but I don't love it. Especially being from Europe, like, if I ever had the option, obviously I would always pick Europe. But it's time to do the other sides. It's time to do the sides. How exciting is that? Truly. Woohoo. But how are you guys doing? Summer is coming to an end. I hate the fact that this is actually what I just said because I was not waiting for this moment to come, like, at all. But, you know, it is the reality. We have to deal with it. We have to live with it, as sad as it is. We have only, what, 80k left? And I did pretty much nothing. <sighs> Ooh, guys, I think we're gonna have to extend the budget. I don't know. You see, you guys could be the judge of that. Although I know what you're gonna say, and you know, you're gonna say that you should stick to the rules. But who cares about the rules? Rules are always made to be broken. But now we're gonna do the upper floor. Now that I'm thinking about it, I realize I completely forgot to show you that there's a Pinterest board that I'm kind of going off of for this house. So I, I found these like free houses that I, that I was like, okay, well, maybe they're not that bad. I wanna combine them free. So as you can see, like, you'll be able to find details for from all the free houses in this one. But I'm still trying to keep it original. So the office, the office gonna go here, obviously. Okay, I need to really shut up sometimes. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm gonna annoy everyone. Like, I'm, I'm gonna annoy you guys to a point where you don't even want to watch the video anymore. But here we are, and I have no idea how much money it's gonna be. I'm just praying that it's enough, because if it won't be, well, then it's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be a tragedy. I'm gonna throw a tantrum. Just bear with me. You know, I'm being very unhinged today, and I feel like this is the fun me. I don't know. I'm feeling goofy today. That's if you, that's really the honest answer if you want one. Now, am I actually going to use another basic shape with a shelf and waste all of my money on it? Hell, yes. Yes, I'm going to do that. Now, if you have an issue with that, again, the door is that way. Honestly, we just need better windows in this game because right now we're lacking. I mean, it's not like I mind making custom windows, and I'm so glad that we have the ability to do that. Now, how tall do we want to make this roof? I I think it's gonna be just fine if it's this tall. Like, this just works, kind of, I guess. Yeah, 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 it will do. You can kind of already see how goofy the back is gonna look. I'm just, but just trust the process. It's gonna be so hideous in the end. And I'm purely doing this on purpose because the back of suburban houses, at least the ones I've seen, are always so hideous. This roof looks way too tall, but maybe we can fix it with like some little detail maybe. Roofing is definitely one of the things I hate. Like I, I can make it work, but just the process of it is always so tiring. Nothing ever works. It's always stupid. It's always dumb. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water. No, I'm gonna add some structurals around the roof of this house. Hopefully, it will fix it. I mean, it's not like it really needs that much fixing, but it's it's not cute. It's not like you look at it, you're like, ew, what is that? No, it's like you look at it and you're like, okay, well, well, this 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 can do. This will do maybe. Like, imagine how big that attic would be, and how cool it would be if we could do attics in Bloxburg. If only one day, please, please, I'm begging you, Coeptus, please. Maybe it's just missing a chimney. You need to add things until you like it. Or if that does not work, then you need to scrap the entire build and start over. You guys don't know this, but it's actually my second time attempting to record this video because I spent two hours recording this video only for it not to save. So as you can probably imagine, oh, I was so mad. I thought I was gonna literally murder someone and dig up their grave in the forest. Sorry, that was too much detail. I feel like one of the main reasons why I only do these kind of houses is because you guys like them so much. Because do I really like suburban houses? I personally would never live in a suburban house. Maybe like a cute historic colonial on the east coast, but never in those like new neighborhoods. I just, I don't know. I like history, you know? I, and I'm not being like offensive to anyone who likes, you know, these kind of houses. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just my personal taste is a lot different. <laughs> they don't look bad, you know? So like I see why people like them. It's just me in a suburban house 
who are you kidding? But you know what time it is? It is time to do the back. It's time to do that hideous back that I told you so much about today. Now, okay, so my vision for this house, right? The people living in it. I know they're like weird people, first of all. You know, they're like rich people with no taste. So what they did is they took the back, they ripped it all out, and then they tried to make this house a mansion. And that sounds painful, right? And this, this back is gonna be painful. We're gonna slap a really big pool, a wraparound pool around the back of this house. Maybe some of you will like the way this looks. Personally, this is definitely not my taste. Like, I know that I'm trashing my own build, but it's just, I just felt like doing it. So we're gonna have a very royal palace looking thing. Definitely royal palace looking. Just wait till you see it. But like, I kid you not, I've seen this house somewhere. It's in my memory. I remember it so vividly. Where it was online. Definitely not real life because I haven't seen something so hideous in real life yet. Pretty sure it was like on YouTube or something. And I was just like looking and I was like, wow, that looks weird. But then it looked so weird that I kind of started liking it. And that really creeped me out because what is going on but yeah that's how this kind of design was born yeah but this is this is what we're working with and you see this is where cheap and expensive come together because we have this manner looking thing and then we have this which is literally in wooden stilts and i don't know about you but from wooden stilts the only thing i'm really getting is just cheap vibes i mean or beach house but let's be honest let's, let's look anything like a beach house i have a feeling Tonight's gonna be a good night. One eternity later. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. It literally looks hideous. It looks so bad. We're gonna keep it because that's the whole point of what, what I'm doing here. You know, this is the whole point of the cause. We're just gonna do it like that. Then we're gonna add windows like that at the top. And we're gonna make these white. And here we go. Here we have our pivot door. And now this is probably gonna be the living room. And then I wanna I want a dining room. So the dining room is gonna have windows like that as well. I'm probably gonna use the same window design for the upstairs. Because like I said, front's all always really pretty and then we go to the back and it's like a modern monstrosity every single time prove me I'm wrong in the comment section you guys will have to prove me that I'm wrong if you disagree but if you agree then please also let me know I would really love to talk about this topic with you guys I'm really interested to see what you guys think about it because am I really the only one who thinks like that American houses are weird like they're either really cool and really cute and really nice it's a hit or miss really but some of them are just like what and yeah I have to say this kind of house is definitely one of those what is going on houses but it's okay you know that's we need all kinds of houses in this world you know we need good and bad we, we do only have 20k left which is a bit of an issue because i obviously expected to have a bit more so now what are we gonna do over here are we gonna have enough that's a good question i'm glad you asked because i do not have the answer yet also the roof trimming is like really expensive for no reason okay honestly it doesn't look that horrible like i'm really starting to like this which is why maybe those kind of ugly backs work on the other hand they're maybe not all bad so maybe i will take back some of the words i said obviously they weren't really nice we're gonna add a pool which is gonna be you see now we would save so much money if we just didn't add a pool but the pool adds so much to the house that i feel like i just kind of have to add it it's, it's so tacky yet it makes sense you know like it doesn't look odd i kind of hate that because i wanted it to look really odd and stupid but it doesn't oh damn oh no we're out of money guys what am i gonna do right now you know what screw it suck it up we're finishing this house i do not care how expensive because we have the money to spend you see i'd be concerned if we didn't have the money to spend but at the moment we do so who's really stopping us who cares no one exactly does anyone else care not that i can hear it's weird i i, I, I don't love it i i really don't but no actually i like i kind of do like it which i'm ashamed to admit it but i do i like i don't hate it we're gonna have a really cramped backyard I definitely see them just using this like modern fence, having that really big pool instead of a backyard. And all we really have to do now is color and do the landscaping. Well, we're not that much over the budget, okay? So far, it's only, what, 20k? About more than that? I, I can't do math. I don't even know. Like, is this a monstrosity? Mm, do I like this? Do I? I'm so lazy to color right now. You guys have no idea. I'm just kind of done with this. I'm not used to making so much progress in a day because for me, this is a lot. I like to build slow. I'm a slow builder. We're gonna do planks. Do I want a blue suburban? I do not want a blue suburban. However, I would like it in this color, maybe. Okay, we're gonna paint all the detailing white, just like that. And then for the 
stone color. Now this is gonna be an issue because I have no idea what kind of stone I wanna go for. You see, probably our best option would be this, but then the question is what kind of color are we gonna go for? Maybe that, that looks half bad. That does not look bad at all. Completely forgot the fact that there's a feature called color wheel now. We should probably just go for something gray, right? Okay, how about a gray like that? That should work. Now we need to find the, like the perfect shade where it's not too much. Okay, for now, this is the color scheme that we're going with. I don't know how it's gonna look in the end, so don't judge, but I do have a good feeling about it, okay? I do. Now, I wanna make the roof a bit lighter. Yeah, that looks a bit more right. Now, okay, how are we feeling? I mean, I don't hate it, so I guess we're gonna just stick with what we have right now. Now, for the bottom part, we're just gonna go with that, whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna continue what we had throughout the house. Shouldn't really be too hard. And honestly, I want a black front door. I just, I feel like it. And now it's finally like coming together, you know? Like I'm starting to see the vision. It's, it's there, it's, it's, we're getting there. I mean, okay, it's definitely not one of my best builds out there, but it's, it's not bad. Like I could live in this house. You know how I was making fun of it at first? It really isn't that bad. It's growing on me. Now, okay, I have a small dilemma. Like, I don't, I either have an option to make this cute or to make it look cheap. And I feel like the right option would be to make it look cute, right? You guys are gonna hate me for this, but I just, I got this genius idea and it would be a crime not to do it. So you know how we have a perfect space for something very out of pocket? Yes, I know. Are we actually gonna do an outdoor chandelier? We are. It just, it works wonderfully in this space. And I literally do not care what you're gonna say because it looks hilarious. Of course, a chandelier doesn't belong there, but it, I will make it belong. If you can hear that, that is my cat. And one thing about my cat, he does not know how to shut up. So if you do hear him meow in the background, my apologies. I deal with this every single night. Every single night, he just starts meowing as loud as he can so that he would get the attention he needs. It's honestly, it's a disaster to live with that cat. To make this even more tacky, we are gonna add LED lights like I like to do around the edge of the pool. Yup, just like that. And we finally only have the landscaping left, which not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited to do it, but to not go overboard, we're just gonna use the items that we have right now. Nothing too fancy, nothing too shabby, just some regular bushes, you know, one or two. I really like that usually with suburban houses, you don't really need to have too much landscaping because they have like these little trees, then some small bushes, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's like simple, but it also, it usually works. This is maybe enough. I feel like, okay, now I feel like this is way too much. And I also gotta need to figure out what kind of variety of bushes I want. I also love to mix my landscaping with just like a single rock. That's how I like to do things. I just go from biggest to smallest. Okay, now tiny little detail. I wanna add a cute little mailbox with a trash can. There we go, and we're gonna use the typical American trash can. There's just so many like typical American things in this game. In the previous challenge video, I said that there was a stove that really looked American to me and same with this trash can it's so american and i cannot explain it if you want me to I, i'm sorry i can't and now i'm looking at the build and i realize that it's kind of dark and then i remember that i completely forgot about lights which for some reason i always forget it i don't understand why or how it just always happens and it's so bad but it's okay that i remembered on time kind of. The color wheel is honestly a blessing if you just know how to use it right. Like, it really is. Now we just need to do the rest of the landscaping. I mean, since this isn't, like, really interesting or anything, I might as well just do it off camera and show you guys what the final product looks like, and then we can discuss what we're gonna do next. How does that sound? I feel like that sounds wonderful. So we're gonna do just that, and I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, so we're officially done with the build. I'm really excited to show you what it looks like. But right now, we're looking at 170k. It's not that bad. I only went 7k overboard which is totally not 70% over the budget but nonetheless this is what we have this is the house we're working with it's kind of cute like I really I don't hate the look of it and I'm kind of proud of it that I just kind of came up with it from my head well obviously I used inspiration images but the floor plan the windows most of it all is just me I like the front a lot now with the back now that is this is a bit more interesting I mean my goal was to make it tacky I didn't want it to look good it kind of looks weird because because it does look good, but then it also doesn't at the same time. So it's like, I don't know. But the 
landscaping as you can see i didn't do too much though this did take me a while i took like a good hour coloring and placing everything which is landscaping is just kind of annoying you need to find a way to enjoy it but there was no point in showing it in the video i feel like it has a lot of potential to become a good build i mean it's really not that bad plus the floor plan is kind of decent although it doesn't really make much sense but it is a suburban after all but i'll probably wrap up the video here this basically is the first part of this build i guess if you guys will want to see the interior then i might do it may or may not i don't know that is for you to decide but i hope you enjoyed this kind of challenge though i did kind of fail but i feel like the outcome well just look at it it's good but yeah thanks everyone so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye